Our next topic is quadratic functions in vertex form. A quadratic function in vertex form looks like y equals a x minus h quantity squared plus k, where the point h comma k is the vertex. Um, then our a term, if our a term is um, positive, it opens up. Our um, our a term is negative. It opens down. We also use the a. We've done this before on our translations thing. Um, we're going to go left and right one, up or down, one times a. And from our vertex, we go left and right two, up or down four times a if I want to graph something that's in vertex form. I'm going to do the following. Um, I want to graph f of x equals 3 times x minus 1 squared minus 7. I'm also going to graph y equals x squared, just so we can see what this 3 is doing to the function. So my y equals x squared is 0, 1's over 2 up 4, over 3 up to 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 would be just above here, and 9 would be just above here. So that's my y equals x squared. So for here, my vertex is at the opposite of the inside number, some of the outside number. So 1, negative 7, 1, negative 7. Then I'm going to go over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, up 3. I'm going to go over 2, up 4 times 3, which is 12. So 12 minus 7 is 5. So at have 2, 4, 5. And over here, I'm going to have 5. So there's your vertex form and how you graph it in vertex form. Notice it's a lot skinnier because we had that vertical stretch by a factor of three in that problem. Okay. I did not assign any graphing questions for this homework um, because we've already done some of these, but we do have problems like your problem for your homework you're going to be doing 2a and b. I'm going to do um, 2c and 2d from the homework in this section. So 2c, they say I have a vertex at 4, negative 3, and it goes through the point negative 5, 6. And it wants to find an equation in vertex form. So I want to end up with something that y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So first thing I know is I know with the vertex, I'm going to have something that looks like this. y equals a x minus 4 squared minus 3. I use the vertex to come up with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my point into there. So I get 6 equals a. My x is negative 5. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to do the math. So 6 equals um, negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Negative 9 squared is 81. 
I'm going to add three to both sides. Divide both sides by 81. Which is one ninth. Now that I know what my A is, I'm going to stick this A back into that function. So my equation would be y equals 1 ninth x minus 4 squared minus 3. Um, part I'm going to do with D, we would do it the same way. To D, they tell you that the y-intercept is at 1. That means your point is going to be at 0, 1. Um, that's how you would do the one if they give you the y-intercept. I'm not going to go. Actually, I will go through the work. So let's uh, let me just get a new page, 2D. They give us the vertex at negative 1, comma, negative 4. They tell me the y-intercept is at 1. So I need to come up with something that looks like a x minus h squared plus k. I am going to put the vertex in. That's y equals a x plus 1 squared minus 4. I am now going to put my point in. I'm going to get 1 is equal to a times 0 plus 1 squared minus 4. Let's solve for a. 1 squared is 1, so that's going to give me a. 1 equals a minus 4. Add the 4 to both sides, I get a equals 5. My final equation is going to be, plug it into here, and I'm going to get y is equal to 5 times x plus 1 squared is 4. The next part that you need to be able to do is we need to be able to turn something from standard form into vertex form. And that process is called completing the square. Okay. Um, basically, I need to take something like y equals x squared minus 6x minus 3 and turn it into vertex form. So this we're going to call standard to vertex. Okay. <clears throat> what we're going to do is... Um, we need to find something that I can add or subtract from this equation to give me a perfect square. So the process looks something like this. Put some blank here. I want to put something right here that's going to make this part a perfect square. I want to make that a perfect square. I want to make that something that looks like the way what I'm going to do is I am going to take that B, I'm going to divide it by 2, and I am going to square that answer. So that B is negative 6 over 2 squared, which is negative 3 squared, which is 9. Okay. This part that's in that box is now a perfect square. And I could factor that perfect square. It's the square root of the first, square root of the last. Copy that sign, all squared. But here's the problem. I added 9 here. To compensate for adding 9, I must also 
subtract 9. So over here, I'm going to get negative 3 minus 9, which is negative 12. And my final answer would be y equals x minus 3, quantity squared, minus 12. Um, so I'm going to add something, and then I'm going to compensate in there. Let me do another example. Um, this one's a little trickier because it's got a coefficient in front of the x squared. So y equals negative 2, x squared plus 12x plus 5. I'm going to kind of set it up the same way, but I've got to pull a negative 2 out of both of these terms because I have to have the coefficient of the x squared be a 1. Okay? So my first step is I'm going to rewrite this as negative 2. Well, I'm going to pull it out of the first two terms. I'm going to do x squared minus 6x, and I'm going to leave room for my blank. Now, I'm going to take half of this number, so I'm going to do the b over 2 squared. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. I'm going to put a 9 here. Now my compensating term is 9 times negative 2. What I'm actually doing is this part is actually subtracting 18. So to compensate, I am going to add 18. So my final thing would be negative 2. Square root of the first, square root of the last, copy the sign, all squared, plus 23. Um, you are going to be using, you have two homework questions on this for um, your homework. You have 3A and D. I'm going to do 3B and C. So 3B says to complete the square on the following. X squared plus 12X plus 35. So I am going to figure out what number I have to put in here. So I'm going to do b over 2 quantity squared, which is 12 over 2 squared, which is 6 squared, which is 36. Compensate, I'm going to subtract 36. Okay, a part in the brackets is a perfect square now. Square root of the first, square root of the last, copy the sign, all squared. 35 minus 36 is minus 1. Three C. Um, H of x is negative x squared minus 8x. So the first thing I need to do is I need to pull that negative 1 out of these two terms. Take a negative out of that, I get x squared. Take a negative out of that, I get a positive 8x. I'm going to leave myself for the blank. The blank is going to be 8 over 2 squared, so that's 4 squared, which is 16. My compensate, this is not really a plus 16, it is a negative 16. So to compensate, I'm going to add 16.
square root of the first, square root of the last, copy the sign, all squared, and negative 13 plus 16 is plus 3. Um, so for vertex form, you need to be able to find an equation if I give you a vertex and a point. You need to be able to graph it in vertex form, and you need to be able to turn it from standard form into vertex form by completing the square.